Howdy, y'all. My name's Mike Siegel, and I'm also running for Texas 10, and I'm proud to be a part of this blue wave of candidates who are seeking to take our country back and restore common decency. My background is fighting for social change as a public school teacher and as a civil rights lawyer. In 1999, I started teaching in Houston, Texas, started out teaching third grade, later I taught fifth grade and eighth grade in the public schools. I became part of the teachers union and part of the struggle to resist the privatization of public education. Uh, I was involved in a school district where they were closing schools and we had to rise up to say, no, you can't do that. You can't close the neighborhood schools. And in general, we have to see public education as the place where democracy can actually flourish. The idea that no matter how uh, rich or poor your parents might be, that if you have a quality public education, you can succeed in life. I later became uh, an attorney with the idea that I could affect more systemic social change. I worked as a plaintiff side civil rights lawyer representing women who suffered discrimination, whistleblowers who suffered retaliation, and now I'm a city attorney for the city of Austin, where a lot of my cases involve suing the governor on behalf of the city, fighting for local control, and in particular I'm the lead attorney in the lawsuit against the state or to protect our immigrant communities and invalidate Senate Bill 4, this racist anti-immigrant law they passed last year. And my background as a fighter would be very useful in this struggle because as we know, it's a very hostile political environment that we're in right now. And my campaign is about fighting for working people, seniors, students, teachers, all of us who are under attack right now. So I'm demanding a $15 minimum wage, Medicare for all, I want to see better environmental protections. I want to see us get back into the fight against climate change and protect our air and water. I believe in the women's right to choose, period. That women should have no role, or sorry, that employers should have no role in choosing whatever healthcare services a woman wants to access. Um, I believe in an open internet. I believe that we shouldn't have any sort of fast lane or slow lane that's going to benefit certain internet providers instead of others because the internet is where we can all get information. My campaign is, is based on challenging Mike McCall, who some of you might think, well, this district is so Republican that it's safe for him. But the problem is, this district is not safe for us. If you are a young person born into a family of immigrants with ICE trying to knock down your door, this district is not safe for you. If you're a woman who needs maternal health services or reproductive health services, it's not safe for you. If you're a teacher who wants to deduct your classroom expenses, while Mike McCall and his buddies get to deduct their private jet expenses, but now under the tax bill you can't, it's not safe for you. And really what the Republicans are doing is, is setting up a complete assault on everything that is a part of our public safety net, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, it's all in play because they've taken a trillion dollars out of the government and given it to the richest Americans. So my campaign is gonna be fighting for all of you, and I, the way I hope to accomplish this is by doing something that hasn't been done in the Texas 10th Congressional District since they gerrymandered it 15 years ago. Some of you know, the 10th Congressional District used to be the district of Lyndon B. Johnson. It was the Hill Country District. But 15 years ago, they redrew it. It extends across nine counties now, from Lake Travis to the edge of Houston, from UT to Prairie View. And it's supposed to be safe for Mike McCall. But the problem is, it's not a big problem. The problem for him is, it's not safe for him if we actually get out there and knock on doors. And so what my campaign is about is going block by block across, across the 10th Congressional District. We've got Beto O'Rourke and some of the other senatorial candidates who are setting the example. Beto has gone out to some of these rural places, and hundreds of people show up, and half of them are Republicans. And he says, what are you all doing here? Don't you know I'm a Democrat? They say, we haven't seen a Democrat in 40 years. We want to see what it looks like. And, and that's the theory that we want to test in this campaign. We've already been knocking on doors in Cyprus and Grange and other places, and they're not familiar with Democrats out there. So we're going to you know, roll up our sleeves to the old-fashioned elbow grease kind of campaign. Um, I'm lucky enough to be endorsed by every union between here and Houston. The Austin Central Labor Council, the, the Houston Labor Council, the Texas AFL-CIO, the local city and county workers union. And these folks, they know how to organize, they know how to work. I also have the support of grassroots groups, these indivisible chapters, and a lot of volunteers. I started out this campaign not by paying the $3,000 plus filing fee, but by organizing 42 friends and neighbors to get my name on the ballot. And that was a test run for the kind of campaign we want to run. We want to organize 1,000 volunteers by November. And that's how we really can take this district back. So thank you all for being here on this closed night, uh, this very cold night. Thank you to the organizers for putting this together. It's a great opportunity. Thank you very much.